Good morning, Oak Park School, and welcome to the Morning Roar. Today is November 13th, 2023. Our special student guest for this morning's news is Spencer. At this time, would you please stand and face the flag for a Pledge of Allegiance? Flash anything to the flag, the night milk, and the prophet for the nation, for the God, and for the Lister for all. I think a prophet that. Would you please remain standing as we recite our pledge, Panther Pledge? Today I will bet we. On test step and for bun. I am a world part. Hear me, world. You may be seated. Thank you for your help for doing a great job this morning. We will now pause for a brief moment of silence, which is a time that could be used for your own personal thoughts, prayers, or quiet reflections. It's birthday time. We love to kick each week celebrating all our birthdays and have we have a lot this week. A big happy birthday to following students. Luther Smith, Brianna Billman, Zaire Freeman, John Ipe, Ryan Mark, Mikers and Strangle Cronj Tina. All of us at Oak Park hope you have a great day and awesome week. It's time for another edition of Media Monday. Let's listen and Good morning and welcome to another segment of Media Monday. I'm Mrs. Finch. I have some books to share with you. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, I picked out some books that are uh, feast and Thanksgiving related. First one is called A Feast for Friends. It is a beginner reader graphic novel. And in this one, Snail sees a juicy apple at the very top of a tree that he wants to get and share with his friends. But it's at the top of the tree and he's a small snail, so he's having trouble figuring out how he's gonna get that apple down. And he doesn't wanna accept help from anyone. Second one is called Four Famished Foxes and Fosdyke. Mama Fox goes away to Florida for a trip and the foxes are left alone to fend for themselves. And the four foxes have decided that they are going to get food the traditional fox way and Fosdyke is a bit of a gourmet and he is excited about all the new dishes that he can whip up and yes the letter F recurs in this book many many times so you can challenge yourself and see how many instances you can find out for yourself. <clears throat> Third book is called The Thanksgiving Cookbook and it has lots of recipes that you can try out on your own, um, like the Thanksgiving cake that's on the cover or gobble taco pizza. And lastly, Junie B. Jones, turkeys we have loved and eaten and other thankful stuff. Junie is struggling to find reasons to be thankful um, for a class project and uh, she has her own unique spin on the Thanksgiving holiday. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mrs. Finch. See you next time. Bye.
Good morning, friends, and welcome to a special edition of the Literacy Lab. I'm Patty Manson. And I'm Kate O'Hare. And we wanted to share with you some of the wonderful thankfulies we've been getting in from different classes. Patty, you want to start? Yes, this one comes from Mrs. Brown, and she says she's thankful for her students. And what a coincidence, Miss Julie is also grateful for her students. And Stephanie Wangler is very thankful for her coworkers. And Zayden in Miss Julie's class is thankful for dogs and cats. I agree 100%, Zayden. Absolutely, and Jaden is very happy for his sensory toys. And Mason, also in Miss Julie's class, is thankful for his class and for Miss Mia. I agree, Miss Mia is pretty awesome. And Sergio says thank you very much for all of his wonderful friends. Nice. And Ramel from Miss Julie's class is also thankful for his family. And Judah from Miss Brown's class says, I'm very thankful for my family. Look at nice. all these beautiful picture supports they yeah, used. Yeah, I love that. And Carmelo, oh, thankful for the playground. That's a fun person right there. And our and last finally, one? finally, uh, Valentina is thankful for her teacher. So thank you, friends, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thanks. I'm thankful for all of you. Thankful for you. Thankful for you. Thankful, thankful for you. Thankful Bye. for you. Bye bye. We will we'll close things out with morning with a Monday, Friday. Your fun fact this week. Did you know the Olympians used to give a medal for art, not just sports. We hope you have a great day, Panthers, and like always, continue to roar.